All right, what's going on, you guys? Welcome to Real Madrid Hub again. I'm your host, Dr. Jota. And in this video, I would like to give you my own opinion about why I still think, why I believe that Raul Gonzalez candidacy for the bench of Real Madrid is better over the project of Massimiliano Allegri um, for Real Madrid. I mean, why I do think that Raul Gonzalez might be the first option for Real Madrid over the option over other any other option, but specifically over the option of Massimiliano Allegri. So, in order to do that, let me give you a brief perspective about what are or what the achievements of Massimiliano Allegri are, or what kind of coach is Massimiliano Allegri before to go ahead and explain why I um, support the option of Raul Gonzalez for the bench of Real Madrid. So let me explain you really quick who is Massimiliano Allegri as a coach. Okay, Massimiliano Allegri started his career as a coach in Italy and actually he has been coaching the 100% of the time in Italy. He doesn't have uh, I mean he doesn't have any other experience outside Italy he has been coaching in Italy over the last 15 years and is the only soccer is the only country that he knows in terms of um, coaching soccer and all the stuff he first started 15 years ago in Sassuolo then he moved to Cagliari and then he started his career in the two big names in Italy the first one was in Milan and then he was moved to Juventus de Turin where he got all the success that he um, achieved in the past okay so in Sassuolo he I mean he won the title in the Serie in the Serie C which is pretty much a you know secondary divisions in Italy and then in 2010, the first big achievements, accomplishments, or whatever you want to call it, came in Milan. When he was coaching to Milan and he won the Scudetto and also La um, Supercoppa d'Italia, okay? It's a minor champion championship. It's not something big deal like the Scudetto or even Coppa d'Italia, but it's okay. It was two years and he uh, won two trophies, okay, which is not bad. And then... The most important part of his career, it was in Juventus de Turin when he signed it uh, for um, Juventus in 2014. But the problem here is all the way from 2014, all the way to um, 2019, he won five Scudettos and four Copas de Italia. So you might be thinking, wow, that's great. He's a very good coach. I mean, he... Uh, made quite an accomplishment, man, when you have or when you win five Scudettos in a row, five Scudettos back to back is something important is because you are probably one of the best coaches in your country. Okay, the answer to that is yes, but at the same time is no. I mean, he didn't start the uh, super streak of Juventus de Turin because actually was Antonio Conte who really started these most successful times in the Juventus de Turin history, which is actually the person, the same person who has cut off the same streak of Juventus de Turin in, the, in, in Italy. I mean, Juventus de Turin had been winning Scudettos um, all the way back to 2012. And it was... Um, with Antonio Conte on the on the bench as a coach, right? And then three years later, Antonio Conte was moved or moved himself to uh, England to keep his career as a coach. And then Massimiliano Allegri took over Juventus de Turin. And then Juventus de Turin kept winning all the Scudettos and Copas de Italia. But in my opinion, it was not because of Massimiliano Allegri. It was just because they were the great, I mean, the best team at that moment in Italy and there was no any other team who really could you know keep up or catch up with them 
and there was no another, you know, for example, Inter de Milan this year is the first team in years, or even Milan, is the first time in years that in Italy you can see different teams fighting for the Scudetto, right? So it was not because of the signing of Massimiliano Allegri. It was actually in spite of the signing of Massimiliano Allegri. Because once he quit two years ago, in 2019, Juventus um, kept winning another Scudetto with Sarri, and then this year, for the first time in 10 years, they didn't win anything. We were waiting for the Coppa d'Italia, but they didn't win anything. You know what I'm saying? Saying So, in my opinion, is I mean, it doesn't mean that Massimiliano Allegri transform or remodel or, you know, flip over everything in Juventus de Turin so they could win something. No, they were already winning things. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I still believe that Raul Gonzalez, even without the expertise and the background of Massimiliano Allegri, is still a better choice for us. If you think about it, Real Madrid Castilla has been fighting until yesterday, I mean, until the last game possible to promote to the second division with a very humble team. The second thing, reason number two, the bunch of players, the group of players that have been, um, you know, playing back and forth uh, between the first team and the second team, Miguel Gutierrez, Antonio Blanco, uh, Sergio Rivas, Marvin, and all these players, they have succeeded thanks in a part, in a big part, to Raul Gonzalez because he is trying to grab the best from all of them. He's trying to uh, convince them that they are great players, that they have to be in a very good shape, and of course, they have to show off to everybody else that they are able to play in the first team. You know what I'm saying? So, that is the... that it's... I mean, that is going to take me... that leads me to the reason number three. And the reason number three is because Raul Gonzalez is the old school, man. This guy, I mean, according to his methods of work, according to the way how he's been, he has been managing to the second team in the second division, is pretty much about physical condition, 70%, and 30% tactical formation adjustments and all the stuff. So for Raul Gonzalez, the physical condition is crucial, is critical, is super important. You have to keep in mind, Raul Gonzalez spent like four years in Germany, and in Germany, when it comes to the practice, training grounds, and rehearsals and all the stuff, is very different to Spain. In Germany, the players spend like eight to nine hours in the training ground, I mean, in the facilities of the club, you know, uh, working out, um, training, uh, you know, giving messages and, and relaxing as well. I think that they probably watch videos and learn things about tactical formations and strategies and all the stuff. So for him, it's very normal to keep the players for the 60% of the day in the facilities working with them, working along with them in a very close way. You know what I'm saying? So that way, in my opinion, that is the project Real Madrid has to have for the next year and not Massimiliano Levy, which is more like Zidane school, like Ancelotti school, like in the old times in 2010 with the national team of Spain and FC Barcelona, Tiki Taka and all the stuff. It's completely different world. So in my opinion, and that's why these are the reasons why I think that Raul Gonzalez is the best option for Real Madrid. But now I would like to know your thoughts about that. What is your opinion about Raul? What is your opinion about Massimiliano Allegri? And of course, subscribe to this channel, Real Madrid Hub.